Now covering election 2019, just 13 days till Jacksonville voters head to the polls. Tonight, for the first time, all four mayoral candidates on the ballot were on the same stage for a mayoral debate. And we heard from Mayor Lenny Curry, City Councilwoman Anna Brochet, Omega Allen, and Jimmy Hill on topics including crime, downtown development, and the future of JEA. News for Jackson reporter Scott Johnson joins us live from Jacksonville University with what the candidates had to say tonight. Scott. Mary, a spirited debate as three candidates really tried to take it to Mary Leonard Curry here at Jacksonville University. So his primary competitor is City Councilwoman Anna Brochet. They went back and forth on what she has characterized as the Curry crime wave and the status of uh, homicides in Jacksonville and problems with crime, saying that Curry is not invested enough into things that really intervene with young people to stop crime before it ever starts. Curry's coming back saying, look, I have put more officers on the street. I have put a lot of budgeting toward this, and Anna Brochet keeps supporting what I put out. The people know what this is. This is just the politics that the councilwoman has been playing now for the last few months to a year since she wanted to run for this office. The truth is I created the Kids Hope Alliance, uh, which the councilwoman voted for. She's voted with 98% of my priorities, including public safety. That's over $120 million invested in children over the last few years. So the micro grants were an addition that I'm proud of. Uh, people see this for what it is. It's just, it's just dirty politics. Funding for children's services has not increased in over 10 years, and we can rebrand the name of the Kids Hope Alliance to deliver the exact same services but not increase the funding. And so, listen, I did vote for the budgets because guess what? I wanted, I was rooting for him. I wanted our city to succeed. And I wanted, that means wanting our mayor to succeed. But his priorities have not solved the problem. I've given you the stats with the 350 murders in his administration. The other two candidates really trying to make their case for the first time really in front of a large audience, Omega Allen and Jimmy Hill. They spoke out a lot about downtown development, like the landing issue. Mayor Curry looking at possibly demolishing the thing and putting in green space or a different type of facility. Now, Omega Allen came out saying she does not support that. She thinks the landing needs to remain. Hill saying, look, the landing failed because parking downtown in that area is terrible. Downtown is the heart of any major city, and our heart needs a transplant. Downtown has to have, to revitalize, it has to have residential, retail, entertainment, and efficient transportation. The downtown landing area once served as two of those four things. I believe that it can still be the iconic place that it always was as, as it was in the, in the beginning. If you don't put parking, it doesn't matter what you put there. It will fail if it involves people attending. So parking is the first thing, and it affects every business. Even the Chamber of Commerce in our downtown doesn't have enough parking. Why was that not addressed? So the, the crowning jewel actually probably is something like the landing now that is a food court and a place for people to go downtown. A, um, a flex space venue, a concept that is unheard of in this community for our venues, um, a space that will do more than one thing by design would be a great idea. To win this election in a couple weeks, Mayor Curry needs 50% plus one vote. The big question, did these other three candidates garner enough support tonight to deny him that victory and force this to a runoff? We're live at JU, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.